So uh, when we decided to do the water fountain, we had to go through the engineering design process. And the engineering design process, the first step is to ask, so what's the problem, what are we trying to do, and what are the constraints? So one of the constraints was budget, because we had a limit of $40, and including other problems like uh, the schedule conflicts and when we could meet together as a group. We moved on to imagine, which is the second step, which is brainstorming ideas. We came up with many ideas, but at the end we chose one idea, which is like the diagram behind me here. We built a base at the bottom, and we chose supports, and we had the water fountain at one corner, where it would go through a tube, and it would go through a ring at the top. And the ring had several holes, and the water would go back down through those holes, and it would keep recycling. And there would be a wheel in the middle which would spin due to the water that's dripping down. And then moving on to the third step, which is plan. And we drew many diagrams, like the one behind me here. And we have to gather the needed materials and also keep within the limit. After that, we move to create, which is uh, we had to create the project, test it out, and uh, we used wood, and we had to make it waterproof as well. Then the final project, we moved to the fifth step, which is improve. And improve, we had to test the project, find different ways where we could improve it, make sure that no water is leaking out, and that's our engineering design process. So this is our water fountain, and this is the uh, concept. The water goes through the the pump, the water pump, and the pump pumps the water to this ring on the top, and this, the water flows out of the holes from the ring and hits the wheel, and once the wheel moves, it hits the xylophone plates, thus making a noise. But this is one of the failures that we encountered, because the wheel... The, the plates on the wheel were too short, so the water didn't hit the wheel, and it did not move to hit the plates. First, the time is challenger. All of us have different schedules, so that depending on time we are all available, it's difficult. All of us have to rearrange our schedule, sacrifice some other activities, to meet with teammates. Uh, then, uh, design is the challenge. None of us are trained as designers, so we don't have enough skill to measure, and we are all bad drawers. <laughs> so we have to test a lot of time to finish our project. Uh, additionally, we don't know how to use tools. Uh, fortunately, we got a craft room, craft center, and uh, the shop, so the faculty there, the faculty there are extremely friendly and helpful. That's the reason why we can make it. Our project is a water fountain, but I didn't do a good job in the design day. So if we have another chance to make uh, make it differently, we can make many things different. For example, we have uh, we would make the presentation part of the project better. Um, for example, we can use the cut more colors and make the project looks more professional. Another thing is we can, if we have another chance, we would uh, complete our project at least two weeks before the design day in order to have plenty of time to test our project, in order, uh, so that we can see if there is any, there is nothing risky for our project. For example, we can measure the distance from each support um, to the center um, and make sure when the, cin when the wheel in the center rotating, it can hit each of the parts and make the sound. Uh, the advice for next year's freshmen about the uh, FEDD project is to uh, start early, make prototypes, and be creative and think outside the box because uh, a lot of the, the opponents are like really creative so the competition is really tough so you guys have to really be creative and work hard and 
also um, in the design process you gotta make lots of prototypes so uh, you're not like you know you can test yourself and phase it out so you know if it'll work or not like whatever design you come up with like uh, we made a lot of mistakes like that in uh, our design process so we kind of underestimated the, uh, the design and we just like predicted it would work but in the end in the project uh, on the final day it didn't work so um, always test yourself and make prototypes it's really helpful